Uh, Norman has a tremendous amount of experience. He's been trading for almost four decades, which is almost as long as I've been alive. Uh, and I like to throw that in just to make him feel really special. And so everybody that is listening today, pay a lot of attention because he's got a lot of great wisdom and insight that he's going to share. Uh, thanks for being on the show, Norman. Thanks, Casey. This, uh, this making me feel good is the same as making me feel old. <laughs> Uh, you know, I have a tendency to do that probably because I'm getting closer to being old myself. So, uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, how, uh, how did you get started in trading? Share that with us. Well, uh, I'll make a long story short. Actually, I started as a math teacher. I, I, I went to the University of Cincinnati and uh, tried to uh, get through engineering, but had a problem with mechanics. So I added up all my, uh, my, my credits and and uh, graduated with a degree in math. Um, and I thought, what could I do with this degree? Uh, you know, I was running nightclubs and uh, I ran one of the, um, uh, the chief competitor to Studio 54 at the time. So I was kind of like a, a John Travolta, you know, without the stardom. And uh, in, in any event, I decided, you know, maybe I should apply my math degree. And I, and I always uh, loved the idea of trading. So I took a job uh, selling gold and silver options on the telephone with a, with a firm that, that wasn't there three months after I joined them. But I thought, you know, uh, I walked in one day and everything was gone. All the desks were gone. And, and, uh, and I said, gosh, I, I just sold somebody a gold contract. And, and I realized what, what I was doing was the naivety. I was working for a boiler room. And, uh, and so I decided I would, but I loved the idea of, of talking to people about gold and silver at the time. So I took a job with um, what became the largest uh, commodity option firm in the country, ITG, uh, and became one of their, uh, within six months, I was uh, moved from broker to manager. And then I was a regional vice president uh, in, in, in had 60, 80 brokers under me and trained other managers to open other offices. So. I was in tune and I would run up to the trading window and I'd give him my trading ticket and it was a crazy time. I had no real plan, but money was flowing and this was before exchange traded options. Uh, in any event, uh, Payne Weber saw what I was doing and they hired me and um, that only lasted about a year and a half of which, uh, of which time uh, they wanted me to sell. I, I was hired as a commodity specialist and, um, and um, it wasn't the kind of firm I liked to work for. Uh, in any event, I left and started my own uh, Hallett group where I was managing uh, as a commodity trading advisor millions of dollars for big, uh, big money people and through my own IB. And then I, re I married a woman who is a subconscious trainer. I said, what the hell, what the hell is that? She says, you know, you're running around like a crazy trader. I can tell when you win or lose. You know, what's going on? She said, let me settle you down. I said, good, because maybe I can run my trading plan the way I, I know I can run it. That's what changed everything. And that's why I focused literally for the last 20 years on the disciplined trader, which is getting people to do what they need, but not necessarily what they want. What they want is the next hottest thing. What they need is to control their emotions so that they can run their trading plan without hesitation. So I made it a, made it a point, and, and it's still my main, my, my main focus, and that is getting people to be disciplined when they trade. So that's, that's really where it all came from. So that, uh, that getting married made a big impact, not just with your personal life, but also with your business life. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Absolutely. We'll start, we just had our 39th uh, anniversary. Uh, and so, um, you know, that's a, that's a milestone in and of itself. And I, I'm, I'm I'm going for 60. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Well, you, you want to hear this. I was just visiting with my grandparents uh, over the weekend, and they are on point to hit their 70th uh, this mm. December. Wow, well, congrats. That's yeah, excellent. they're both 90, and my grandma, when I was talking to her, she's like, yeah, we're going to hit our 70th if we make it that long. <laughs> it's well, only four months away. I'm that's like, I'm hoping, I'm hoping you make it that long, yeah. Grandma. <laughs> I mean, last time I saw you in person, I think we were on the back of a gondola or something in the, in the streets of, uh, of San Diego. It's, it's, I think we were both speaking at some kind of a trading expo. But uh, you've come a long way, Casey. Well, you know, Norman, I've known you for a long time, and I, I, I just wanted to share the story with you since we're on the air. 
you, you probably don't even remember this, but you really sent me an encouraging email right when we first met. I was doing some trading, marketing, and uh, I was doing a product promotion, and it didn't really go too well, and I sent you an email, and uh, you responded by saying, Casey, you might not realize this, but I just want to share with you that I'm really proud of what you did. And you put a lot of work into it, and you really worked hard, and you know you might have be a little disappointed with the results, but you're you're a winner, and uh, I never forgot that. Like that was really encouraging, and you know even after all these years, I'm like, you know what, that Norman, he's a good guy. Uh, I even meant it when I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that mental and emotional issue part that I know people go through, whether it's you know us and marketing to people and trying to help them be better traders, or you know anything in life but, but generally you've got to you've got to be confident and, and know that there's going to be you know bumps along the road and i think everybody knows that it's just living it that's the tough part you know? right and so so in that case you helped me get through some bumps and so that's a really good thing and i think you're still true to that today you're helping traders get through their bumps and if they're stuck or if they're getting through bumps uh that's when they really need to go come and talk to you mm -hmm. appreciate that yeah so uh so um, nowadays, uh, you're working on some new strategies and some ways to help traders, uh, not just mentally, but also with some simple ways to get in and out of the market? Yeah, I started something called Simple Trading Plans um, because simplicity of a trading plan. I, I remember I, I mentioned running a room with, uh, with 60 traders and had to try to maximize their results as, as traders. And I noticed that the ones that were winning consistently had simple trading plans with one or two conditions to get in. Um, a, um, there's a lot of, you know, getting in is easy in trading. It's getting out. That's, that's the art. And, and to have certain, to cover all of the aspects of, of getting out with rules, um, simple in, the right way out. These are the people that were making, these are the traders that were making money. The ones with complicated um, all the lines on their charts, all the conditions before they took a trade, they, they, they were involved in a lot fewer trades and made a lot less money. And I think a lot of that was because uh, when you have a simple trading plan and you can, you can be in as many trades as you can possibly be in, if your trading plan has tested to have two winners for every loser, the more trades literally you can put on, the better. Um, I mean, what I didn't tell you about my... I, I, about my career is I started out as a math teacher, uh, which only lasted about six months because I was teaching, I was in San Francisco and I was teaching uh, replacement theory uh, to a group of eight students who were the tough students. And this, this was in the 70s where um, guys and gals didn't have tattoos much in the 70s, but they all had tattoos. And, and these kids were the tough kids in the school. And, um, but they were in my class and I was supposed to teach them math. So I decided I would line them up around my, my desk and I would deal them blackjack. I would, cards up, can't touch the cards. They would all sit around my desk and, and I would ask, take a hit or don't take a hit and tell me why. So they would say to me, well, I'm going to take a hit because you're showing a 10 and the count is plus four and it means you have a better chance of busting. And, there, and I have a, you know, a whatever, and I'm going to take a hit. So they had to tell me mathematically why they were taking it, if they would take a hit and why. And we'd, we'd, we would play for 30 minutes, and they would understand replacement theory. And from there, I could give them other theories. Well, they were coming early for my class. These are the kind of kids that came late. They didn't show up. They were coming early. Mr. Hallett, well, come on, let's go. Let's, let's deal. You know, we didn't put any money down on the table. They weren't allowed to touch the cards. Uh, but the powers that be found out about that didn't like the approach. And, uh, and they took me out in the hall and fired me that, that day. <laughs> so uh, the math teacher thing uh, didn't last too long. <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess I bring that up because you got to put the odds in your favor. I guess I was this close to being a professional blackjack play with my brother uh, who, who taught me. And, um, and, but that wasn't the lifestyle I wanted, you know, living in hotels. And, you know. um, but, but it did teach me that if you can put the odds in your favor, you're much better off. A simple trading plan puts the odds in your favor because you can make those statistics real by having uh, a, 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 
consistent, responsible trades along the way, as opposed to asking a lot from the market. Because asking a lot from the market to get you in or out didn't seem, and from my experience, and this was years of, of I was with that firm eight years uh, of experience, it was obvious that the more complicated the trading plan was, the tougher it was to get in, the tougher it was to make money, and the more frustration there was. So in, in the short term, there seemed to be two kinds of trading that um, that could give you frequent trades. One was scalping and one was um, one was trend following or, or uh, uh, swing trading. So swing trading and um, and scalping. Position trading you can hold over and there's, there's merit for that too in the long term. But most traders want to be in and out as, as fast as they can and take the money, so to speak. Um, because carrying overnight, especially before markets were open 24 hours, uh, it was more of a dangerous thing. So I've developed these simple trading plans that uh, can uh, work for. They work for forex. They work for the, as long as you have a candle chart, you can you can work with it. So that's uh, that's really what I've um, what I've really been focusing on lately, uh, and that is supplying people with simple trading plans. And the one that's posted right now is the best one I've ever made. So I've written books on on, on, on making uh, building trading plans and so on and papers. Um, and it's all around simplicity and knowing yourself, um, you know, whether the kind of trading plan is for you or not. So, um. Well, simplicity is definitely the way to go. I think uh, just because it's simple, though, doesn't mean it's easy. Um, people might get a little confused with that. I, I think that simple means that it's not difficult to understand. Uh, it's, you know, the rules are very clear cut, but then where it becomes difficult is actually doing it, is the execution. The understanding is easy, but then doing it day in and day out and managing your risk and, and doing all that is what really makes it difficult. Um, and so that's one of the things that you target in again when you mentioned earlier about your emotions and handling your emotions. And so uh, what are some of the key secrets that you would share with a trader that has a hard time managing their emotions? Well, I, I think that the most important thing that one needs to do is to train your mind. Um, there are, uh, in order to um, turn uh, inappropriate behaviors as a trader, uh, revenge trading, uh, hesitating to pull the trigger, all of the things that hurt traders uh, and cause big losses, not limit. I mean, the most important thing is keeping your, your losses small. And the smaller, the better. Because there's always another trade. I think I think that's the main thing uh, that traders refuse to do somewhere along the line. They take that gut punch, punching loss that loses 15, 20 percent in one shot, and uh, all of a sudden they feel deflated and whatever. But you need to train your mind, and the way that we do it at the Discipline Trader, um, and we've been we've offered our programs for two thousand dollars. It's now down to thirty three dollars a month now that we have. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people on the program and a lot of success with it. We've actually been able to bring it all the way down at the disciplinetrader.com. And so, what it is, and there's so many assets for for people to do that. But the main asset is uh, is trying is training your mind in a subconscious way, and I mean a seven minute meditation. Traders that are on that that realize they need to keep their mind strong can relax for seven minutes before they start trading, center themselves, and listen to suggestions with their eyes closed about uh, that they, they, uh, they understand and they appreciate the opportunities in trading. And that the trading plan is a solid one and has been back tested. And if I follow that plan without hesitation and I have confidence in that plan, then in the long term I will succeed. I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Those kinds of suggestions when you're sitting in a relaxed way and then you go to trade, all of a sudden you can pull the trigger, you can take your, pro take your profit when you're supposed to, you can take your loss and go to the next trade without the emotional baggage of taking a, a loss or a series of losses. So them, and and these are, there are specific subjects to these depending on what your, your, your situation is. If, if you have if you have trouble taking losses and, and you pull your stop and you let the loss go further, you need to uh, you have the strength to take losses. So that seven minute session, you relax and it says, I understand that taking losses are part of the overall uh, strategy and taking. I see my my trading as a business and and taking a, a loss is, is cost of doing business 
making a gain is the profit. And I know that if I run my plan, I'll have a successful trading business. I'm a wise investment trader and I do the things that a wise investment trader does. It sounds like words right now, but if you can relax and make it happen for yourself um, and, and put it in your brain, uh, and, and all you need to do is is, is is relax and take a subconscious change. Because every time you take it, you're building neural pathways with these beneficial trading behaviors. And the more you take it, and I mean just once a day for a couple of weeks, you know, eight or 10 sessions with a seven minute trade, you'll build enough of those neural pathways to, to form a neural net, which becomes how you will respond to a stimulus so that when your trading plan gives you a, a trade to take, you won't hesitate to take the trade because now your neural net says, I understand that my trading plan will work for me over the long term. I have no problem taking the trades from that trade. And so if you build a neural net, if you build the neural pathways, you'll create a neural net and you'll 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 turn a, a, a problem behavior to a beneficial behavior. I mean that's pretty much the science behind it. And is that uh, a recording, or are, is it like something that you're reading? No, it's a it's a it's a recording. You're, it's actually um, you you look. It's actually a spin. It looks like a hypnosis kind of a thing, but it really is more of a meditation. But you're closing your eyes. It's audio. Right. It's really okay. Audio. There's not there's nothing more than audio, and that's really all you need. Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have been encouraged, and I continue to ha have them use it. It's it's actually in that same uh, thirty three dollar a month program. All my two hundred and eight four minute drills for traders, which you're familiar with. Uh, the 208 of them, they're all in there. And, um, and, and that's four minutes of really pumping you up in a positive way to understand that we're not alone as traders and that we all go through the same thing and that, uh, you know, make it happen for yourself. So the disciplinetrader.com really, again, you can tell the way I talk about it. It's still the heart, you know, of, of, and the soul of what I do because it's the real problem with traders, the mental and emotional control. And once they have that, Things can turn around, you know. Yeah, I, 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 the emotion part is tough. Like even today, I hit what I call my max loss, right? So I have, um, I have a maximum loss that we're, I can't go past. It's like my my barrier. And today I did that, and um, didn't feel good, <laughs> you know. So I'm I'm proud of myself that I didn't do a revenge trade or anything like that. But once I was done, I was done. But even now, it's like, man, that really sucks, <laughs> you know, so. Well, I'm not sure those thoughts, you know, you say it's easy, but, you know, even, even we, we talk about um, it, it's, it's simple, but not, not easy. Uh, I mean, that's it. The th you, you don't, I mean, whatever you just said, it was worse before you started to control yourself. I mean, you, you would turn around and try to make the next trade to get it back. You would right. do the behavioral stuff that didn't work. So the thoughts, they don't leave a hundred percent. They're going to come at you, you know, but you're going to be handled in a different way because now you're a wise and disciplined trader and you do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. And that's our moniker, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, smart, there's a lot of smart traders out there that are just losing their ass all the time. It's yeah. the wise trader. It's the one that realizes that, you know, if they keep a trading plan simple, if they, if they train their mind, if they do the things others are unwilling to do, then they'll be in that 10% that win instead of all the smart people that are in the 90% and, and are losing. Not that there are some smart and uh, disciplined people. There are, but there are a lot more smart and undisciplined traders out there. You know? Well, you actually have already made me feel better because now, because I wasn't, well, because, yeah, again, because I wasn't thinking about, oh, what I would have used to have done, right? So I, it, so now I'm thinking about the progress that I've made. And so I have progressed quite a bit. And so so that's good. It's easy to lose sight of where we're making progress because, you know, it's in the past and we don't realize we're actually making steps forward. I, I will jump in for 60 seconds on that point because I put, uh, in fact, this, this webinar is in the discipline trade. It's one of the bonus, you know, every time I do one, I throw it in there. But it's called time management for traders, and, and, um, and but, but there's one concept that called the gap, where you can take a look at your trading. You made a hundred dollars for the month. You wanted to make a thousand, and you sit there and you and you you, you, you you say to yourself, "God, I only made one tenth of what I want." If you stand at 
at that hundred dollar plus and look back at where you were and say, I made a hundred dollars, I made one percent on my account this month. All of a sudden, it's a, it gives you a different perspective. And I, I know it sounds simple, but it's it's like the horizon. If you look at the horizon, you know it's there. It's it's a construct in our head. It doesn't exist, but but it's where the sky meets the earth, and you can walk toward it as much as you can, but you, you're never going to get to it. And and it's pretty much the same thing with with grandiose goals, not goals that you can measure along the way, but visions of yourself out there as, as, a, as the guy that owns a $10 million house and dating movie stars because they figured out what trading is all about. That's out there for you. And, and, you, you, know, and when you only make $100 on your $10,000 account that month, you, you, all of a sudden, you know, but you can't look at the horizon because it's a construct. You know, the, 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 uh, the party boats, and that's all the kind of, You've got to turn around and look at where you came from. That is what builds the energy. And, and, and that, that distance from where you are to where you wanted to be and didn't get to, that's called the gap. You've got to stay out of the gap. You've got to stay in, in reality and the progress that you're making. So um, you brought up something, again, that, that I've thought about deeply and made a whole thing about it. So yeah. I appreciate that. Well, well, that's good because uh, at, I'm kind of a natural visionary type person. So I'm always thinking big, like I have never met a goal, made a goal that was small, right? And so because of that, I get discouraged a lot. And so um, getting out of that gap, I still want to have that vision. I want to be able to see, but I need to, to get back more with what's happening or, or look at smaller mileposts and, and what has happened in the past. That's really good stuff. Thank you for sharing that. This is why I love the podcast is because it, it seems like every time I'm done talking to somebody, I've improved. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully you saved that original email that I sent you. Uh, you know, I was just looking at it today because I, I wanted to bring it up on the show. I was looking at it. That was like, uh, that was like nine years ago. So I if I saved it nine years, I'm going to save it another nine years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you stuck with it, Casey, because you're one of the best voices in the business. I, and I appreciate being on this podcast that. Uh, I can't believe you haven't invited me before this. But that's it. Well, I actually did, but I think you forgot. <laughs> and I'm just attributing that to old age. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right. You're probably right about that. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, this has been a lot of fun. Um, give us some, some action points on if people want to get connected with you and some of your training that you've got right now. I know you've got your simple trading plan, your disciplined trader stuff. Uh, where can people go to find Norman Hallett and to get the best benefit? Well, there's, there's, two, there's two sites, really. The, dis, the DisciplinedTrader.com, and I want you to, I'm not going to help you spell disciplined. You have to look that, you know, Siri, um, not, Siri and uh, Alexa can help you spell now, which is great. You know, how do you spell this? It's great. So the DisciplinedTrader.com for the mental and emotional stuff that we've been talking about. And I think you're going to want that if you don't have that. But my... My real focus right now is building trading plans that are simple and 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 s somewhat easy to run. They're very easy to run, but you 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 and because they're easy to run, you can stay a little bit more disciplined, um, and, which helps in the in the total cause. But I've concentrated. If you if one were to go to simpletradingplans.com, they'd see the best simple trading plan that I've made. I, I've had four or five of them that I've made over the year over the last few years. This is the latest one. We call it loaded gun because of the the in, online because of the trigger. Uh, it looks like a loaded gun the, the way the bars go together. But I want to say that if you're a scalper, the problem with scalpers from 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 a emotional issue is that when they take a scalp and they see the market run continue to run, they say, "God, why did I take this short? I should have just let it run." People who are are um, are swing traders. They watch the market go up, and by the time it takes away most of their profit, it was less than if they just took it in the beginning, and they say, why didn't I take it? Why? <laughs> it's the reverse. They're both I, saying the opposite. Yeah. I built a trading plan that, I, that, that I'm, 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 I'm working on the moniker uh, swing scalping because this trading plan employs both methods in a simple way in one trading plan, and it involves taking two positions. And now with the micro e-minis, and the small contracts and the and the micro contracts in gold and the currencies and the volumes are, are appreciable now. You can trade in a very small level and have two positions. I mean, having two positions as gold is is twenty twenty dollars per dollar instead of a hundred. 
So, you know, you can you can really manage yourself even in a small account, like a five or ten thousand dollar account. And you can treat one as a swing and one as a scalp. And I show you how to do it in the loaded gun. And it has been the, the last week uh, I used a 10 minute chart. There were 24 winners and seven losers and and a, um, a ten thousand dollar or a twenty thousand dollar account would have made twelve thousand dollars if they but you'd have to trade two in the morning because you know you, you got to take you got to take every i took every trade that this that gave and every exit that was prescribed by the simple trading plan on one sheet of paper so that's what i'm into right now making it simple and keeping the odds on your side like like counting cards in blackjack if you keep the if you if you if you stop the feeling that you you missed out on something and you have the feeling that you've got most of your bases covered uh that's empowering. And then when you start to see the results of running a simple trading plan like Loaded Gun, it all, it all really comes together for you. So I'm really excited about the, the new project over the last couple of years of these simple trading plans. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds pretty good. Like you said, just con being consistent, if you follow it over and over again, and eventually it'll add up and be into some pretty big gains. Spell your name again, Casey. Uh, my name, C-A-S-E-Y. Okay, I made, a, just for everybody, I made a, a coupon code for you. If you wanted to try the simple trading plan, Loaded Gun, it's normally, I've, I've got it down to a, a price of four ninety seven, but I just made a $100 off coupon, Casey, C-A-S-E-Y. If you use that when you check out, it'll be three ninety seven to you. You also have a 60-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in it. But I want you to see this trading plan, especially if you're struggling as a scalper or a swing trader and have some of those questions that come up that I mentioned that kind of take you off track. Because uh, this is like the best of both worlds in one simple trading plan. And I really want you to try it out if you'd like to. Right. Uh, so for everyone that's listening, there's a coupon code out there, a uh, really good offer. And I recommend you guys check it out. Go in uh, simpletradingplan.com. Right, Very so plural, simpletradingplans.com uh, and use the code Casey. Simpletradingplans.com. Yeah. Uh, very simple uh, web page as well. The address is easy to remember. So go and check that out and, uh, you know, get $100 off with my coupon code. And it's a good thing that you verified that you spelled my name right because that could have been a disaster. Everybody <laughs> would be yelling at me saying, well, what's the deal? <laughs> I'm not getting the coupon. <laughs> I spelled it right. K A S E Y. Yeah. C A S E Y is in the coupon code, and that will all be in the description. So, for those of you that are listening later on in the podcast, you guys can just click the link and uh, type in that code as well. So, uh, Norman, thanks a lot for being on the show. It was a pleasure having you. Great uh, talking with you. Uh, it's been a while, so it was good to connect with you again. Well, thank you, Casey, for all of the uh, the good vibes that you've sent me, and uh, you know, over the years, and and um, you know, it's been a great friendship, and I really appreciate you having me on because I really do think the mental and emotional issues are are so important that I I I I, I, I got to continue to help and drill that into people because it's the difference. You know, ninety percent of people lose in trading; ninety percent pay little or no attention in the mental and emotional. So I think there's a correlation. So thanks again, Casey. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and. Uh you know, it's, you said it, I think, I don't know if it was off the air, but you said it, people don't really want to learn that kind of stuff. It's kind of like you have to make them take their medicine. <laughs> you know, right. it's like spoon feeding. It doesn't taste good. That it's not, they'd rather look at simple trading plans and strategies and, you know, how to make money. They don't want to really look deeply internally at their own mm -hmm. issues, but that's really what everybody needs. And you're, you've been faithful to give them that. So keep, keep on, keep on going. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Thanks again, Casey. Much All right. Thank you.